how to provoke uncommon miracle healing. In John chapter 4, from verse 46 to the end of that chapter, Jesus came to Cana of Galilee, where he had turned water into wine. As soon as he arrived, a certain noble man who knew of the miracle of turning water into wine came to Jesus Christ. Why? He had a son who was at the point of death. And he came to Jesus Christ and asked him to come quickly and heal his son before he died. His son was at the point of death. Jesus, in response, said unto him, Except you people see signs and wonders, you wouldn't believe nothing. There are many today who will not dare believe nothing except they see signs and wonders. To such people, I have come today to help your faith. Because today you will see miracles. Hallelujah. You will see the most unusual, uncommon miracles today. Jesus is still in the business of performing unfathomable miracles. Jesus is still in the business of doing special miracles, signs, and wonders. In the book of Acts chapter 14 and verse 3, the Bible says, They abode in that city, speaking boldly in the Lord, who granted signs and wonders to be done by them, Signs and wonders were done by the people because they spoke boldly in the name of the Lord. Listen, miracles are real and Christ is still doing miracles today. In Mark 16 and verse 20, they went and preached everywhere and the Lord was walking with them, confirming the words they spoke with signs following. When we speak the word in his name, miracles still follow us and today you will see one. Hallelujah. The man came to Jesus and said, Come, I don't want my child who is at the point of death to die. Please come. There are many whose children are at the point of death. Some of them, their parents. Some of them, their wives. Some of their husbands. They are at the point of death. And what are they doing right now? They are running helter skelter, looking for money to go abroad. You don't have to go abroad or help can come to you from above. Hear me and hear me well. You don't have to go abroad. You can receive help right now where you are. This man could not carry his son from where the son was, lying down at the point of death to where Christ was. So he came to Jesus Christ. That was faith. That was faith in expression. He did not send people to Jesus. He came by himself in spite of his status in the society. Jesus rebuked him because of his unbelief and told him, unless you people see miracles, you wouldn't believe. The man said, please come before my child dies. Christ said, okay, go. Your child lives. Come on. The man didn't say, I say, come. The man said, yes, sir. And he turned and walked away. The next day, very close to his house, his servants rushed out to him and said, sir, sir, your son is living. He asked them, at what point did you notice the change? They say yesterday at about one o'clock in the afternoon. And the man who was a noble man realized that that was the very moment Jesus Christ spoke, telling him to go. His son lives. If you want to see special miracles, believe the word of the Lord. He has said that by his stripes ye are healed. Believe that word. Believe it. He said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must jesus christ the son of god be lifted up on the cross that whosoever believes that's all all you need do is to believe whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life but must be healed and be restored to life eternal for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him no matter his condition or her condition will not perish, but have everlasting life. You can have life restored to you right now. All you need to do is to believe the word of the Lord. The man believed what Christ said. Go, your son lives. If I tell you, go, you are healed. Will you believe that? That is where the problem is. Now I speak to you by authority in Christ's name. Arise and be healed. Get up, you are healed. Go and show yourself to your doctor for a checkup. You are free from that sickness. Cancers are destroyed right now. 
Leukemia is destroyed right now. Every tumor, every growth in you dissolves right now. Arthritis is healed. Stroke is healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. SS is turned to AA right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That paralysis is healed right now. Paralysis is healed right now. Your paralysis is healed right now. Epilepsy is healed right now. Every kind of sickness of disease you have in you is declared healed right now. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. I declare you set free completely from that evil disease. In Jesus mighty name. The man believed and went back home. And when he got home, his son was healed. If you have any loved one far away from where you are and you are hearing the sound of my voice, by the time you get home, you will have discovered he or she has been set free. It's a new day for you. I have been free from sickness since May 31st, 1981 till today, 16th day of May 2024. I have been free from sickness for about 33 years right now. The Lord will set you free and from today you will live free. Be blessed in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen.